Hey everyone, I'm in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, and I want to check out a new Tesla destination charger. And it's just around the corner from here. But first I want to see if I can't pull it up on the map. Charging, and I select all charging levels. Here it is right here, Mount Pleasant Town Center. And so I'm going to select this. And as you can see here, it's 35 cents per kilowatt hour. I've never used a paid Tesla destination charger, and my understanding is I just plug in with a Tesla, it'll know the car and start charging, but also you can charge non-Teslas here, so we'll walk through how that works. But let's get there first. I've arrived at the town center place where the chargers are. You can see my car behind me. Uh, there's also an apartment complex here, so it's perfect for people who are apartment dwellers and need to charge. And then also on this side is the downtown of Mount Pleasant coffee shops. Ponder Coffee, by the way, awesome place. They have multiple locations now, but there's one here in walking distance, which is where I would go if I didn't just have a coffee. But now let's check out the charging stations. So as you can see, there are six of them. There are two right here and then four in the background. Let me just go ahead and plug into my Tesla and see what happens. So the first thing I know is that these are the Tesla universal charging stations. I can see the captive adapter in here. Uh, so here's the NAX plug. But then if you do need this, if you unlock this using the Tesla charge my non Tesla function, then this should release with the NAX charger and then you can charge your J1772 vehicle. But before we do that, let's just try this just pulls right out I'm gonna unwrap a little more cord and I'm gonna push the button on here and my charging flap opens I plug it in and let's see yep blue flashing so it's communicating and now green flashing which means it's charging so it's as simple as that for Tesla owners and I did hear a click on the station so super simple just come in with your Tesla, plug in, start charging, 35 cents per kilowatt hour at this location. There is no session fee, so you're just paying for the energy. Inside the vehicle, I'm seeing the charging stats here. It ramped up to the full 48 amps, 11 kilowatts. So this is the maximum an AC charger can go on a Tesla. So it's matched very well to this Tesla Model Y. And if I was staying here to my charge limit of 80%, it would charge that 16% from 64% in one hour and 10 minutes. Just like superchargers, it gives you the stats right here, 35 cents per kilowatt hour. So far it's cost me nine cents by sitting here and giving me the total energy. So the experience is really just like a Tesla supercharger, just plug in and everything else works. So I'm gonna finish my session just like I would with a home charger or a Tesla supercharger. Push the button, hold it, wait till it turns white, it's unlocked and then wrap up the cord and just plug it back into the charger and that's all there is to it so now what i want to do is charge as if this was not a tesla and the way i'm going to do this is to use my j1772 adapter and the tesla app to activate the station using the charge your non-tesla ev so there's a function on the charge your non-Tesla EV to scan the QR code. But what I learned is that it's not the QR code on the sign. The QR code on the sign directs you to download the Tesla app. Once you do that and enter your information, including a payment method, use the top right menu feature to find the charge your other EV feature. Select that and then there's the usual mapping feature with the search function. So let me type in Mount Pleasant. It's even spelling tolerant. Now I select charge here, scan the QR code, or type the last four digits of the serial number. I'm gonna use this station right here. And it already said plug in to start. So what I wanna do in this case is not to take the Tesla NAX connector, but I want the full J1772, assuming this was a non-Tesla. So I'm gonna push this button. I heard a release. Pull this out and now we effectively have a J1772 plug. Now in my case, because I do have a Tesla, I'm gonna do the reverse. So I'm gonna put my adapter into here, 
So this adapter goes from NAX to J1772, and this does the reverse, but just to show how it works. So I'm gonna open this up, plug that in. Blue is good, that means it's starting to communicate. It's flashing blue, I heard a click on the station, and it's flashing green. When you're finished charging, just like any other session, in this case, the button for the J1772 releases here, push, it released on my car. White means it's unlocked. Now in my case, I'm gonna pull my adapter off. This adapter obviously stays with it, and then that needs to be seated back into the station. So this whole thing goes back in, clicks into place, and now I should be getting a receipt for that charging session as well. So that's how it works. Great location, uh, Tesla destination chargers for other EVs. Obviously, if your future EV has the NAX port, then you don't need the adapter. But for now, J-plug cars can also charge at these Tesla destination chargers. Hope that was useful, and we'll see you next time.